Now for part two of how to scuttle a ship. Hopefully you still have a load of explosives, you haven't been wasting them since the last video. Now the first thing to do, I guess, is take out any hostiles in the immediate vicinity at the beginning. Purely optional, you can go straight for scuttling at the beginning, but you have to know where you're going, how you're going to do it. Stealth. Hey, how? You what? There you go, even the enemies carry lambs. The game is really trying here, guys. Really trying. Don't let it down. Uh oh. How do you miss with the sword? That's the first red flag, isn't it? When you try and open the door and it closes again. Okay. So this is the pump which we need to reverse. Okay. So now we have to hit the weld points. There are about five of them, I believe. This is what they look like. Caution. Try weld seam. So Oh, there is a guy up there. Oh, uh oh. Yep. Reload, dude. <laughs> Reload. Oh my fucking god, shut up please. Okay. Now something that always got my goat was I needed to get up there and I'm never 100% sure how to get up there but you and I both know how to get up there The answer is of course to not go crazy with your super jumps whenever you get the opportunity but to instead be a reasonable person. Okay. <sighs> this weapon is useful, I swear. Okay. Fantastic. I remember this being the part of the game where I really got to use the regeneration canister in a big firefight, uh, the re regeneration org in a big firefight, and it just kept me going. The place we're about to go has a few Chinese um, enemies, I don't know why I had to specify that they were Chinese, but um, they, you know, really tear into you with their assault rifles, and I wasn't expecting them. But the whole thing just kept me going the whole fight. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay, so that's our cloaking org taken care of. Yeah, down there. These are the guys that uh, gave me grief the first time. Okay, so this is a fantastic secret area. And I suppose you're supposed to get here through a vent. That vent there. Doesn't look like you can make a return trip, although that shouldn't be too much of a problem if you want to super jump. I don't. I don't want 
want to get myself lost. I know where I came from and I know how I got there. And I want to keep it that way. Because I find them extremely annoying, I am of course going to turn off all cameras as I go past. Good. That's on. Now, if we take a little look around, there. If I had the binoculars, I could zoom in and show you. But that is another seam that we can blow up from here. Oh. You know what? That guy can see me, so I'm going to take him out first. Now everybody knows what's going on. I see no harm in blowing it up. There are a few ways through here. Environmental resistance, enviro suits. Um, I suppose you could jump down there and then super jump back up. I am just going to go for the good old fashioned just run through tactic. Pause in the doorway like a moron. With the Sabot rounds, I really, and of course, uh, the master skill, master tier uh, knowledge in assault rifles, I should definitely be able to one-shot anyone with my shotgun. Although that might not be the case in practice. Waiting for the sky to. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Actually, what's the strength? Infinite. Good thing I checked. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that. Oh. Yeah. Now we'll just take a look from up here. Attack helicopter. Is it possible to blow it up? Let's find out. Blow it up with my nano key. Uh, I'm taking a look around to see if there are any weld points. Yes, there is. Okay. So I'm going to use the Gip gun, of course. That is a waste of ammunition. Oh, 
I think we're advancing quite neatly. Each area is providing its bounty and then gives us a fresh path to the next area. Uh, we're underneath that giant fan. So this <laughs> this is the um, electric part that we Yeah, see, this is why I hate... Yeah. So this is, you should recognize this as the underside of the place that we ran through. We can fix it for this guy. Uh, that's the other way of doing it, and I am more than happy to fix it for him. If I can find the access way in... And the reason I'd fix it for him is because I believe you get a little bit of experience for it. I can't be responsible if you get hurt. Um oops. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. Okay, so we can hit this panel, I think. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. And if we don't get any experience for it, I'm sorry, but at least I showed you a way to disable the the electricity and you can safely walk across. And of course, if you don't want to go across, there is a weld point up here which you can get up close and personal with. Maybe stick a lamb to it and then shoot it from a safe different distance if you're that interested in doing things safely. That is not at all how this works. Calls notes. Two control panels, one of them under the floor. And of course, if you're just interested in getting through this as quickly as possible, I of course apologize for this uh, irrelevant diversion. It's a refreshing break from the irrelevant diversions. Look at that, 40 points regeneration. Every time, and you can take the ladder up here. I thought I did, dude. Dude, don't do this to me, man. One. Two. Ah, uh, let's just go through here. <laughs> I fell for it, guys. I fell for it. I thought that uh, a 20% bypass rating was a bit lower than the other one. So, when we get our unlimited augmentation upgrade canisters, what are you guys going to spend yours on? I'm not sure, but I think you can upgrade the uh, the power circulator. Yeah, so you will be able to hit that turn on all augmentations button, maybe not because it will turn on your spy bot, but you'll be able to turn on your regeneration and your subdermal implants and your cloaking all at the same time and your legs for super speed. All will be max and will have a significantly reduced amount of electricity, bioelectricity being consumed. Dude. I'll have it fixed by Dude. Okay, so that's how you make it safe. You don't get any experience for it, apparently. But if you want to help a, a guy out, if you want to help Shaggy from Scooby Doo in his twilight years out, that's what you do. Okay. Oh. Hey, I made it. 
it. Fantastic. I think this is just fantastic. Okay, and the other two world points are right at the beginning, actually. I didn't get them right away because I was interested in clearing out any enemies that were lurking about. And just generally speaking, I prefer to do it last because it's closest to the exit and I don't get lost on my way out. Okay. Now, there are still enemies in here though. There is a weld point behind this. Very sneaky. You can get over there. Of course, we can both think of a way to get over there. But there is a legit way to get over there. Or you can just use this walkthrough to tell you. This walkthrough Let's Play Hybrid to tell you that there is one behind there. Your intuition may also provide some... Uh, and there's the last weld point there. It may provide some hunch, if you will. Now. There was a panel. I've lost it. I've lost the panel. It's okay. So this begins, this area up here begins an interesting trend in the game of small rooms with bad guys in them waiting for you. <laughs> and uh, it is a constant source of death, especially when you're playing on realistic difficulty. See, it's it's blind. You can't get up there in a non-blind way. You have to kind of have an idea. Of what you're doing. That went very, very well. You can see how that could go bad, and if the trend continues, and the rooms are filled with assault rifles and men in black, uh, there might be some problems. But the plus side is, because there are men in black, there, it gives the opportunity to, sorry, to throw in a grenade and blow the men in black up and anyone else up in there. And anyone who doesn't quite get finished off by the grenade will definitely get finished off by the man in black. Ah, there is the panel there. this west? The west end of the dock. He's talking about here. I'm sure he's talking about here. What? What? Oh, I couldn't say before I did it because Tong is talking to me. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take a moment to heal up. I'm going to save my game. And I am going to do it properly. Do you guys see this? <laughs> Jesus, funny. Okay, it's about to explode. I got this. I don't got this. I got this. I got this. Whoa. I'm so not meant to be here. Yes. <laughs> that was an interesting way to die. Thank you everybody for watching me scuttle that ship. Uh, the next video should be fairly short, we're just going to deal with Stanton Dowd. I'll see you then.